Hello, I'm Bob from Stour Valley Systems and uh, what I have to show you today is a replacement LCD screen for a Heidenhain BF120. Uh, what you see on the left is the original display that's been removed from a machine and on the right is the replacement LCD screen which we will be installing. The process is very simple. What we're going to be doing is removing the metal cover from the back of the original BF120, uh, removing the existing LCD screen and then installing the new replacement and reusing the cover. On the original unit we will be reusing the front panel, the keyboard which remains attached to the front panel, um, the metal cover which um, covers the, the actual electronics inside, that will be reused and uh, we'll be reusing the cables that go to the power, the video, the keyboard connector and uh, the earth here. So those would be reused and should be retained from your old machine. Removal of the original unit is, is pretty straightforward. You've got four bolts holding the front. Um, you withdraw that then on the back um, you have the four connections which need to be removed. The 24 volts DC power, which will have a plug that you simply remove. The video connection, the cable connector, and the earth stud. So uh, remove all those and then withdraw the unit. Removal of the panel itself is straightforward. Um, there are two screws here two screws on the sides here, sometimes you may see four. Um, these two screws um, actually have uh, washers on them, the others tend not to. And uh, two screws there. So uh, remove the, we'll remove those now and uh, take the cover off. That's all the screws for the metal cover removed, so um, now we can carefully lift up the lid. Um, You'll see two cables here, one for the keyboard, um, that is simply removed by pressing those levers and then the connector for the fan which um, simply pulls out and then you can withdraw the shield. The fan on the unit uh, can be removed uh, once you've got the panel off. Um, it's not necessary to, to have the fan on the replacement unit. The modern power supplies uh, that we provide in the replacement unit are much more efficient than the original and do not uh, need any external fan cooling. So that's a good thing. It reduces a bit of noise uh, that was there on the original. So here we see the inside of the original Heidenhain BF120. Um, what you have here is the main controller and power supply board. Your DC enters here onto a power supply. There's an inverter that uh, feeds um, the backlight through this cable. And then the main controller logic is here, um, which takes the video signals and uh, displays it on the display. And uh, this cable here feeds down to the LCD, which is mounted underneath here. Tubis have designed a replacement controller, power supply and inverter. Um, so there's no need to buy an original Heidenhain unit costing thousands of pounds. So with the four screws, mounting screws here removed, uh, we simply lift off the old display. And here we have the, um, the bare display, uh, you've got your glass front plate here, the original keyboard which is going to remain. So all we have to do is install the new LCD screen onto the mounting points. 
whilst you have the old display off, uh, uh, take advantage of the opportunity of uh, cleaning the inside of the display. It's amazing how much dirt can collect on there. So here we have the replacement display. Um, just make sure it's orientated the, the way that it came off with the, uh, the video connection on the right hand side here. And um, all you need to do is place it on the mounts and screw in the four screws. So the other side of the unit um, is the, the main LCD itself. Um, please remember it, it does have a protective cover on the front here which you will need to peel off before securing the uh, the unit to the front panel. And uh, in here is where the backlight is um, if that ever needs to be um, replaced uh, in the future. So the tubist replacement unit, um, what you can see here is the tubist designed controller section. Um, this is the main power supply which takes the, the 24 volts which it enters here and that is the inverter which feeds the, um, the backlight. So that's the fully assembled or reassembled unit. Now you need to install it back into the machine and uh, just plug in the original connectors. So the keyboard connector, the video connector, your power connector, being careful of the orientation. I mean it is keyed uh, but just make sure you don't force it, force that in and of course your earth connection. And um, lastly the four bolts that will secure it to the, uh, the front of the machine. Power on just as you would the original. Um, the unit will uh, self synchronize and come up straight away and is ready for use. There's no further testing or anything required on the unit. Hope you enjoy your um, Star Valley Systems Monitor um, and uh, its two year warranty and um, enjoy. <laughs>